Good morning, afternoon, good evening, whichever time zone you are in. Welcome back to My Little Airplane, the channel where I hope to inspire you to travel around the world because this world is pretty amazing and there's a lot to learn and see. Helps you become open-minded. I had the opportunity to visit Turkey mainly for work. Yes, my nine to five job actually sent me to Turkey, so that was very exciting. Of course, I was busy during the weekdays, but I managed to stay a little longer during the weekend so I can explore Istanbul. Spent my last few days exploring the mosques, trying new food, and learning more about the culture. So, without further ado, let's get this vlog started, shall we? So on the first day, I woke up early so I can be the, one of the first to explore the Hagia Sophia. This used to be a Christian cathedral constructed by the East Roman Empire during the 5th century. This is where the emperors were crowned and was later renovated into a mosque during the 1400s. Today, it remains as a mosque, but it is open as a museum to the public. This place is huge absolutely amazing there's still some original paint left as you can tell on the ceiling of the mosque unfortunately today it looks like they're doing a lot of reconstruction at least you can still see most of the beauty of the mosque i'm currently standing where the empress during the roman eastern empire will follow the religious ceremonies I would say she had the best spot in the mosque. This place was so big, it was beautiful. I love the gold, the black, the calligraphy, the, the whole theme of it just mixed in so well. Just a three minutes walk away from the Hagia Sophia, I visited the you know, I'll just put the name in the screen right here. To the English speaking people, it is called the Basilica Cistern. A cistern, for those who don't know, is a tank used for storing water. It was pretty dark and humid inside, but there was a little bit of light so you can see how the cistern looks. And as you walk through, you will pass by the crying pillar and two statues of Medusa. Thankfully, I did not turn into stone. Otherwise, I would not be here recording this video. Next in the itinerary was the Blue Mosque. So the correct name of the Blue Mosque is the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. Please excuse me if I mispronounce the name. I am not perfect. <laughs> Nobody is, but still. Pretty much it was named the Blue Moss because of the blue tiles that's inside, which I'm about to see. Very looking forward to it. Good thing is that this place is free, so you don't have to pay any liras to enter the mosque. I was really, really, really excited to enter this mosque because I wanted to see the blue tiles everyone was raving about, hence the nickname Blue Mosque. But when I finally got inside, all I saw was pillars and plastic and other things covering up the main dome of the mosque for innovation. <sighs> I will admit I was upset because this was one of the highlights I wanted to see so bad, but be trying to be optimistic, this gives me a reason to revisit Istanbul so I can see the blue tiles once they're done with the renovation, hopefully soon. So on the same day after the visit of the Blue Mosque, I walked like 15-20 minutes to visit the Grand Bazaar, which is an indoor outlet mall where there's a lot of shops selling souvenirs, Turkish delight, lamps, and of course, food. Delicious Turkish food. By this time, this was around lunchtime, so I was starving. What I like to do when I travel to a new city is to have as much traditional meals as I can. I want to see what's the norm of that city, like what's normal to eat or what's most popular to eat. And I found this restaurant, this really cute restaurant inside the Grand Bazaar and I asked the waiter, what's the most traditional meal? And he recommended hamburger with fries. Nope. 
I, I can get that anywhere, dude. That hamburger and fries, it's American, European, don't care, that's not what I'm here for. I don't know if he really meant that as a traditional thing, but the way he said, maybe it's better for you, as if like I would enjoy a burger and fries more than a Turkish meal, I'm like, no, seriously, what's the most traditional meal you can offer me? And then he said, chicken kebab with some na bread and rice. I'm like, I'll take that. <laughs> The meal was absolutely delicious, the chicken was perfect, the bread, I love bread. I can't tell you enough how much I love bread. I highly recommend this restaurant, it was really good. I'll, I can't tell you exactly where to find this restaurant because inside the Grand Bazaar it's kind of like a maze. So I might have like entered through some hallways again and again without knowing, but if you just keep looking around, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> I did some shopping and after a little more walking around through the Grand Bazaar I took a break at a cafe to try some knuffe. The best way I can explain what this is is that it's cheese with shredded dough soaked in sweet syrup. The one that I had came with vanilla ice cream but you can also have it with whipped cream. This dessert pastry whatever you want to call it was amazing. Yeah normally I don't like the overly sweet stuff but this with the melted cheese, just mixed in so well. It was so good. I could have like a hundred of these in one day. Probably would be a major stomach ache, but I wouldn't care. Whenever you go to Turkey, if you see this in a restaurant or cafe you're visiting, have one. It is so good. Either as like an afternoon coffee thing or as a dessert. It works both ways. So all I said to you was on a Saturday. Uh, everything done in one day, so that was pretty cool, especially since we're all really close together. The next day, Technically was my day I had to go back to Munich, but luckily the flight wasn't until late afternoon or evening So I decided to make a quick spontaneous trip So I am now leaving the hotel to go to another mosque ever since yesterday Most of the blue mosque was covered. I felt like I only saw like a mosque and a half So I thought today before my flight back home I'll head it to another mosque so I can you know build up the experience I wanted to have yesterday This, this mosque is huge, just a tad bit bigger than the blue mosque, at least coming from the outdoor perspective. About it is that it's not as touristy as the Blue Mosque. When I entered the Blue Mosque, yes, it was later in the day, but there was still tons of people. Just knowing that this wasn't as touristy as the other mosques makes it a pretty cool experience. After visiting that mosque and taking lots of awesome pictures and videos, I went back towards where the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque was because close by was the Palace Museum to, you know, just enjoy the rest of my day seeing some cool architect and walking around the courtyard because that's where the Sultan used to live in Istanbul. This was built during the 15th century. I am enjoying the blue tiles as you can see somewhere right behind me they're really pretty very unique I love the design I also like the mixture of here like the gold and green that's really cool and here from the palace you can have a pretty cool view of Istanbul like over there you can see the Galata tower and the mosque we visited this morning 
course, to end my trip in Istanbul was to have my last Turkish meal, which in this case was pretty much like a pizza, but with minced meat with some herbs, and you can put some lemon juice on it, which was really good. That will conclude my weekend in Istanbul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to visit Istanbul. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. The next vlog I hope to post is my experience in Iceland. That was absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you that. Also be sure to follow me on social media and to check out mylittleairplane.com. I hope you have an awesome rest of the day and I'll see you next flight.